Struggling on defense in Madden 23? <laughs> Tried all the latest meta defenses and still can't stop anyone? Oh my god! You can use the best defense in the game, but if you don't use the right adjustments, it won't matter. Help me! Help me! So if you want to see the most important adjustments you aren't making that is costing you games, stick around after the intro. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. In today's video, I'm going to be going over several tips on defense that most Madden players don't even know they can do that will make a huge difference in how they play the game. I've already put out several other tips and tricks videos like this on offense and defense, so if you want to see more, I'll have links in the description for them as well. Other than that, if you're enjoying this content and want to see more in the future, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, and let me know in the comment section so I can do more videos like this, and don't forget to ring the notification bell so you never miss an upload. I'm going to start off with tips that are most commonly known, and then I'm going to work my way back to the ones that are known the least. The first tip is one that you need to stop mobile quarterbacks, and that is how to send the nearest defender after the quarterback once he breaks the pocket. This has been in Madden for several years, but there are still some players that don't know how to do it, but it is really simple. When your opponent leaves the pocket and starts to take off with the quarterback, if you want the closest defender in man or zone coverage to leave their assignment to go after the quarterback, all you have to do is press in the right stick, otherwise known as the R3 button, and whoever is the closest defender will leave his assignment and try to tackle the quarterback. Next up, I'm going to go over a brand new but really important coaching adjustment that can only be found in next-gen consoles, and that is the zone coverage setting. If you are running match coverage like cover four quarters or palms, you need to set this from default to match, or you won't be getting the full benefit of the matching coverage. In fact, I find this changes the effectiveness of most zone coverage, making them better whether you're in cover two, cover three, or cover four, but let's focus on match for now. Just to show you the difference, I'm going to choose a cover four match, make no adjustments at all, and run this play against a common bench concept, and you will notice for one that the flats are wide open as the defender really just drops back into an area rather than actually matching. The safeties in the middle of the field also ended the play just standing around waiting for someone to come into their area which is not very useful at all. Now watch the difference when I change this setting to match. Number one the flats are covered much tighter almost like they are in a man coverage and the safeties double team the corner route inside and outside shutting this play down completely making it much more effective leaving nothing open really. Next up a lot of people use their defensive alignment because they struggle in pass coverage but did you know that there's actually a function in the game that can help you out with this this function is called the press slash chuck receiver function and all you have to do to rub or even ride a receiver down the field in coverage is step in front of them pre-snap then press and hold the a or x button whether you're an xbox or playstation and down on the left stick and you will lock onto the receiver letting the route guide you down the field so if you're not comfortable in coverage or you want help stopping a certain receiver or a route give this a try and it'll essentially put training wheels on your defender Next up, since speed is the only thing that matters in Madden, it makes cornerbacks and safeties the most important players on the field due to the fact that they are usually the fastest and also tend to have the highest man and zone coverage ratings. So did you know that there is a way to put a cornerback at linebacker as well? It can't be done in just any formation, but a lot of playbooks have a package called the Dime 2-3, which looks just like a regular Nickel 2-4 package that also supports all the same personnel options, only with one major difference. This formation starts the play with a safety at this linebacker position, and cornerbacks can be substituted for safeties at all times, meaning you can put any cornerback you want in at this sub package linebacker spot for a huge coverage advantage. Next up, I'm going to go over the sticks adjustment as it does several things that most people probably aren't aware of. Most people think sticks is just an adjustment meant to change zone coverage assignments to guard the first down marker first. And that is true, but it also has a few hidden applications that can be very helpful as well. To play sticks, all you have to do is hit the wire triangle button, then hit the left bumper or L1 button to activate it. The first hidden feature comes into play if you like to use coaching adjustments to set your preferred zone drop depths, or if you're just experimenting with this, you really need to know the importance of stick adjustments as it can really get you out of a jam if you have them set to the wrong distance at the wrong time. When it comes to flats especially, a lot of people that play cover too might want to set their drops to 20 to 25 to take away corner routes over their cornerbacks. But what if you want to quickly change them to hard flats? If your flats are set to 25, any flats, whether they are hard flat or cloud flat, will drop to that distance. So if you have your flat set, but you suddenly have a need for a hard flat, all you have to do is play sticks, and it will reset your zones to default before the play starts, giving you full control of the hard flat once again. You can also use this adjustment to change how your deep zone coverages play in certain defenses like cover three and cover four, or any deep zone cornerback or safety. If you feel like the deep defenders are biting on one play touchdown adjustments, or you just want to prioritize not giving up a quick score, 
all you have to do is play sticks. In the first play, I will once again choose cover four match set to default and choose slants. And you'll notice the cornerbacks play aggressive and match like they are supposed to do. But if you want to change this defense to a more traditional cover four where nothing gets behind them, all you have to do is play sticks to take away anything deep first and not let anything get behind them. Next up, a lot of people know you can shade your secondary on defense by hitting the Y or triangle button, then use the left stick to choose what direction you want them to guard first. But most people don't really understand what these functions can do, especially when it comes to man coverage, which is what everybody's running this year. Most people tend to only go over the top or underneath adjustment when it comes to zone coverage based off the fact that you can see the adjustments taking place when you hold the left trigger to show the pre-snap play art. For example, you can turn any curl flat or cloud flat into a hard flat with the underneath adjustment, or you can turn a quarter flat into a curl flat with an over the top adjustment. And most people don't even bother to use the inside or outside because in zone coverage, it does nothing. These functions do way more in man coverage, but most people don't know this based off the fact that the play art doesn't change to reflect the adjustments you make. The only real visible adjustment to the defense that gets made is when you shade inside or outside, you'll notice the cornerbacks take a step or two inside or outside to reflect the leverage they're favoring. But this has way more effect after the play starts. The routes that are most commonly beat by men are slants, zigs, drags, corner routes, curls, and comeback routes. But all these routes can be stopped with the proper shading adjustment in the secondary, and I'm going to show you how to next. First, I'm going to go over routes that beat man coverage inside, like slants, drags, and in routes, using the slants play once again. You can see that with no adjustments at all, they pretty much all either get wide open for a big catch and run, or at the very least, they get inside of their man defender, which would allow them to make a contested catch. When it comes to short routes like this, one of the most important adjustments to make is to close the distance between the quarterback and receiver and that's because cornerbacks need to make contact to slow these routes down so I'm going to press against any short routes then I'm going to shade down and inside but first I'm just going to shade down so you can see the reaction that the cornerbacks make as they jump down to take away anything short this is important to note because if you guess and make this adjustment and you are wrong a simple streak is an easy touchdown unless you have a huge speed advantage of cornerback so I would save this adjustment for critical situations like the red zone where there is no over the top or maybe a critical third and fourth and short where you know your opponent is going to have to throw underneath but just shading down wasn't enough as you can see, the cornerback in the slot still gets beat inside. So if I combine all three, now you can see I have my best chance of stopping these routes. Guessing pass will also allow your cornerback to put his full focus on playing his receiver, making him his best in coverage. This adjustment will also work to stop routes like curls and comeback routes, only you don't need to shade inside a route. You will notice that a perfectly timed throw on a curl route typically gets open under a man coverage, whether you're playing off or in press. But if you play the underneath adjustment, you will do exactly that and guard the underside of the route, making them very vulnerable to routes like streaks. So once again, only use this adjustment in the situations we discussed discussed earlier as the penalty can be similar to run committing at the wrong time when your opponent passes. Next I'm going to go over routes that win to the outside like zigs, corner routes, and out routes as it is basically the exact same setup only this time you'll want to shade outside and you will see the cornerbacks will stop any outbreaking route much better than with no adjustments. My last tip is for run defense and I'll once again be using man coverage as an example. One of the best tools to stop the run is the defender manned to the running back as once the play starts they will look to close the distance since that is their coverage assignment before their play recognition kicks in and they realize it is a run play. If you watch them they will chase the running back from the very start of the play so if your opponent is running a lot and you can't stop it just try manning multiple defenders to the running back so they will all chase him from the start of the play and you will get an effect that is similar to a run commit just make sure not to send any defenders that you will miss if your opponent decides to pass a tip that i put out in a previous video like this i went over how cover four safeties play the run first so the best run defense possible would be in a cover four with your linebackers all man to the running back so that's that's the vid if you guys want to see more videos like this as always please make sure to be a subscriber hit the like button let me know in the comment section other than that i've already made a video about this on offense and it should be popping up on screen right now so if you guys want to check that out i'm sure to help your game other than that thanks for watching man money shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below